Theater reporter Sierra Cummings, who continues our live team coverage outside Grady Memorial Hospital. And Sierra, Grady has canceled all elective and non-urgent procedures and appointments there today. Yeah, despite those cancellation and the water issues here, not a whole lot of commotion outside of Grady. We talked to several people who were leaving when we got here earlier this afternoon. One woman told me she had come to see her primary care physician. She was told to go home. Another man had lower back pain, and as he was walking into the ER because of the situation, he decided to go to another facility, but still not a mass exodus. However, we've got some information you need to know about headed into your evening here tonight. So the water main break caused both Emory Hospital Midtown and Grady to cancel all elective and non-urgent procedures. They've been alerting affected patients all day. Appointments will be rescheduled for a later date. It's worth noting even prior to the disruption of water service, Grady Hospital's emergency room was already overcrowded today. According to Georgia Coordinating Center, that's the agency which provides data for EMS crews. We found Grady was diverting some patients to other facilities as early as two o'clock this morning. But Dr. Marvin Crawford says the priority remain much of the same today, putting patient safety first. Everybody needs taken care of, you know, as usual. In spite of all of these problems, they do a good job. Great always does. Been doing it for 32 years since I've been here. And, and they've probably done it 32 years after I leave here. Unfortunately, it's unclear when both Grady and Emory Hospital Midtown will resume normal operations. But considering we've got that boil water advisory, it's likely this will be a situation going into the weekend. However, if you've got a true emergency situation, the ER is still accepting patients. I'm live at Grady. Sierra Cummings, Atlanta News First Investigates.